Hey guys, this is part 5, Fast Machine, the Riven Sword. So, we're almost at the end of our series of making Riven cosplay. So this video is just showing you how to do the Fast Machine on the sword. It's pretty much like the other armor, but I'm showing it anyways just in case people want to see. So from the previous video, the sword was carved with the X-Acto knife. And here you can see the final result. So remember that you have to try to apply it as smooth as possible. And again, I didn't use paper mache to cover because I wasn't sure how much I would sand it down. Maybe I wanted to shape it more, make it smaller. So in that case, I didn't paper mache because then if I sanded through the paper, then I'd have holes. So for the fast mache for the sword, it took a really long time to dry. It took me about a day and a half, but that was without a fan. With the fan, I'm pretty sure it would have uh, took maybe just a day. So near the end, I ended up using a fan because it was taking too long, and it did um, speed up the process a lot. Just make sure you don't make it too thick, because if you make the fast mache too thick you could wet the foam and then it could never dry inside. I know this is what happened to our Akali cosplay and that's why her prop ended up breaking. She applied too much fast mache and then the foam got too wet so when the fast mache dried outside it was still wet inside and it never ended up drying and before she could apply any other layers it broke. So it's important to use not more than a centimeter of fast mache at a time. If you need to apply more, then let it dry and then apply more. So it's pretty straightforward. I didn't film the other side, but here you can see my Shivana cosplay that I did. This is what it looked like when it was wet. It's really dark, as you can see for the leg pieces, but the head piece and the shoulder pieces, you can see that it's dry. It turns white when it dries. Here's a closer picture of when it's drying. You can see like the, the white patchy parts, but this is like in the middle of drying. When it's dry, it should look like the left picture. It might be a little, like it'll be really cratery, so um, I sand all my fast mache items or props. So on the right side, you can see this is after I've sanded it. But because it's difficult to make the fast mache smooth, I ended up using plaster. So I used plaster to make it really smooth. It is possible to make it smooth without plaster, but it takes a long time and you have to make sure the fast mache has a good, like a th good thick layer. So that's the only problem with the fast mache in my opinion. So here's the sword. It's... It's done being sanded. Uh, I put a little bit of plaster at the moment, but I'll show you in the next video how I put plaster to make all the props smooth. So yeah, you can see that the shape is pretty well done, and it's what I wanted, and it turned out pretty good. So that's it for this video. I know that wasn't too much progress, but next video I will do the plastering and the spray paint and pretty much the finishing. Hopefully I can do the sword and the armor in one, in one video. So that's it. I hope to see you guys next time.